Hi and welcome back. As you may know, deep sleep is essential for the release of growth hormone, as well as the growth and the repair of our tissues and our bones, and also the processing of thoughts into memory that we can recall in the future. So anything we can do to increase our deep sleep time, whether it be environmental or in this case by taking supplements, I think has got to be a good thing. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this latest study on increasing your deep sleep has got to offer. This is a review of a study that was conducted by Renew Bioscience on nightly deep sleep levels and the effect that a dose of their liposomal apigenin had on participants' baseline levels. And there's a link in the description below to the Renew by Science science page that precedes this particular study. So the study contained a cohort of 33 people. Unfortunately, no other data such as sex and age was collected. And I think Renew by Science may wish to consider gathering this type of data if they do similar studies in the future. Renew by Science received applications from around 120 people whose average deep sleep in minutes was calculated using their own tracking devices. Renew by Science only selected people who provided, firstly, enough data to determine an accurate baseline average and secondly, people who were deemed to be low on deep sleep, and this was assessed as being between 0 and 45 minutes per night. Having now gathered the participants, Renew by Science instructed the participants to follow the following protocol. On day one, take one times liposomal apigenin capsule one to four hours before bed. Each apigenin capsule contains 35 milligrams of apigenin. After three days, so on day four, increase this to two capsules, still taking one to four hours before bed, and then the dose would be 70 milligrams per night. And if there were no improvements seen on their deep sleep monitor, they were asked to increase the dose to three liposomal apigenin capsules, again, one to four hours before bed, which was then a dose of 105 milligrams of apigenin per night. There were some extra requirements that Renew by Science told the participants to follow. They said to refrain from increasing their normal intake of alcohol or caffeine and also to try not to vary exercise levels too much from the norm as too much exercise can increase the rest in heart rate and decrease deep sleep and heart rate variability. Now, I'm not sure if conflict of interest is the correct term, but there's some additional information that you may also want to take into account. The cohort were all willing volunteers. Also, none of the volunteers were paid before, during or after the study. And Renew by Science supplied all the apigenin to the participants 100% free of charge. I will now cover the results. If there are gaps in the data, this is because the participants failed to provide an update. And as they were all volunteers and not being paid, Renew by Science couldn't really enforce the delivery of any data. Let's take a look at the baseline stats to begin with. The lowest deep sleep was five minutes. The highest deep sleep for baseline was 60 minutes. And that worked out with an average of 31.12. Let's now take a look at what happened after the first dose of 35 milligrams of liposomal apigenin. The second screenshot I'm going to show you now shows the first update after dose number one. The lowest increase was actually minus 35 minutes, which is a little concerning. The highest was plus 75 minutes, which in my humble opinion is very good. And that gave an average of plus 46.33, which again is very good overall. Let's now take a look at what happened after the second dose, where the participants went up to 70 milligrams of liposomal apigenin. This screenshot shows the second update after dose two. Feel free to pause the video and interrogate these numbers in more detail. But the average increase of deep sleep minutes from baseline was 75.76 minutes, which I have to say is pretty impressive. Let's now take a look at what happened after the third dose where the participants went up to 105 milligrams. That's three apigenin capsules per night. 
The screenshot I'm going to show now was the last update after dose three. And again, feel free to pause the video and interrogate numbers. But the average increase of deep sleep minutes from baseline was 75.96, which, although close to the 75 milligram dose of 75.76 of minutes of deep sleep, is still, in my humble opinion, very good indeed. Let's now take a look at all of the data. This is the full spreadsheet. And again, feel free to pause the video and interrogate the data as you see fit. The new element on this screenshot is the graph that shows the gradual average increase in deep sleep through the three stages. In my humble opinion, it looks as though from this trial that the optimal dose appears to be 75 milligrams of Renew Biosciences liposomal apigenin. Let's now see what it would cost you to conduct a similar small trial on yourself. Rebuy Science sell 90 capsules of the liposomal apigenin for $49.95. Add to that the 10% my enemy discount code and it drops down to $44.93. That's 49 cents per capsule. Firstly, look at your sleep tracker and work out your average deep sleep, maybe over the last week or the month, and then record those numbers. Then start with one 35 milligram capsule for the first three days. Three capsules will cost you $1.47 and then obviously record all of your results. On day four, increase the two capsules again for three days. Those six capsules are going to cost you $2.94. Again, record your results. If after six days there were no improvements or you want to see if a larger dose continues to increase your deep sleep, then increase the dose to three liposomal apigenin capsules again for three days. And these nine capsules will cost you $4.41. The total cost of this small trial will be $8.82. And you will have used 18 capsules in total. So there'll be 72 left from the container, either for a friend or family member to do the same, or for you to use and keep collecting more deep sleep data. So I decided to replicate this trial uh, where I differ from those on the study, the people on the study were chosen because their deep sleep was less than one hour a night. If you follow the channel, you watch my updates, you'll know that my deep sleep is always pretty much over one hour. Um, the week before, the kind of average was around one hour, 35 minutes per night. So well above the less than one hour for the study participants. I took my capsules at 8 p.m. every night. Here are the results. You can see here on this table, uh, it's got the days on the left. And then the corresponding dose that I took, the three days of 35, the three days of 70, and the three days of 105 milligrams. The next column that says deep is the deep sleep I recorded when I was actually taking the apigenin. You can see there the Wednesday in the center was the highest deep sleep I had, which was one hour 46. And the next day was the lowest, which is strange, which is one hour and 17. Not really a big difference from what I normally achieve. The previous week's Numbers are also there and you can see they're all roughly the same over one hour, one hour 19, etc. The, the, the highest number of deep sleep I had in the week previous to taking the tablets was one hour 32. And the lowest deep sleep I had before I started the trial in the week before the trial was one hour and four. Now, if you follow the channel, you know that I take parsley as part of my uh, supplement regime. And this is to negate the effects of CD38. Parsley also contains apigenin. So what I didn't want to do was double dose myself. So I stopped with the parsley and I took the abigenin, but it seems to have made not really much change whatsoever. I shall resume taking my parsley, but I'd also carry on taking the abigenin capsules to see if that double dose does make any difference. If it does, I don't think it'll be worthy of a dedicated video, but I'll, what I will do is I'll post those results in the community tab. So it's important you've subscribed if you want to see what those results are. So that's it for my uh, particular study details. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Obviously not a scientific study by any stretch of the imagination, but some interesting results there from the people who started off with less than one hour's deep sleep per night. And also a trial that you can try yourself if you purchase the liposomal apigenin from a new bioscience. Let me know in the comments below, do you take apigenin, uh, liposomal or not? Have you seen similar results with regard to your deep sleep? Or having now seen this, if you are someone who wants to up their deep sleep, would you consider buying the liposomal apigenin to see if you can improve your deep sleep at night?